Oh, it is cold. The garage is a little bit of a mess right now. We've got our set power fridge down here, but we've got a snowboard. I've been out snowboarding the past few weeks. This week it got super cold. It was like minus 40 wind chill. And I think I'm gonna go give the Tacoma a little wash. Even though it's so cold, I'm gonna bring um, maybe just this monster drying towel, just so that I can dry, especially the inside so it doesn't freeze. Maybe I'll bring another one just to be safe. Sick, one of the pieces of mail I've been waiting for every week. Pretty excited about this one finally arriving. If you know, you know. Sweet. I don't actually have a purpose for today's video, guys. I just wanted to uh, post something on the first day of the year of 2022 uh, to say Happy New Year's. It's kind of going to be a little random vlog style video like the old days like we used to do. Just wanted to say thanks for all of the support and for following along on the journey the last you know year and a half with the Tacoma. I'm still enjoying it and liking making videos. It's more work than I think anyone probably imagines but uh, we're gonna do an old style vlog today. I think I'm gonna go wash the truck because it's been pretty cold out and uh, almost too cold but it's finally like somewhat decent enough to wash it, dry it, and then it'll stay clean for maybe like a week or so because after I wash it, it'll get cold again. But first, we need a snack and some coffee. Just regular. Had to make one quick stop at the store to pick up a replacement 9005 bulb. This is for the Subarus. Uh, it's for our other Impreza. I guess we'll see if these cracks on the windshield will get worse or not after the car wash. Oh, look at all that steam. the Tacoma actually has a pretty good sealant on it. It's called Sonax Polymer Net Shield. And if you had remembered back in the Subaru days, I was a big fan of that stuff. And it's holding up really nicely, really beating quite well. Makes it really easy to wash the truck. Uh, especially in winter, the water just essentially repels off of it. So I'm gonna give it a drying now and then uh, should be good to go, even though it's like minus 20 degrees out right now. here at the car wash is when the battery died. So pretty much everyone that lives here in like Alberta or Calgary knows that uh, they put a lot of rocks and gravel down on the roads in the winter to keep it less icy and then other cars kick those up and shoot them you know at your windshield and then you get those big cracks and then when the temperature gets to like minus 20 minus 30 the cracks get way bigger. turning the ice. So 
So after two years of owning the Tacoma, I would say that I'm still loving it. This is my second winter now driving it and daily driving it. So I'm driving it everywhere and I find myself most of the time in two wheel drive when I'm on like main roads, um, but when I'm driving through communities and stuff like that, I usually then flip it into four high. The only thing with four high is that you get that binding when you're turning. So you have to be super careful not to be doing like super sharp turns or U-turns. It's really difficult. You really start to feel that binding happening. Um, but otherwise, it's been really still amazing performance wise. I'm coming up to a, a fairly sharp corner here and I have to slow way down in the Tacoma. Otherwise, if I don't, I start to slide very easily. Tacoma is looking nice and clean now. All right guys, well that was a random short video, but uh, happy new year to everybody. Thanks for, for following along and uh, hopefully some cool trips lined up. I, uh, I'd love to go north like Arctic Circle, love to go south to US, West Coast. So we'll see. With that guys, thanks for watching. See you later, peace.